Hello everyone and hello there YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now, for this video guys, we'll be talking about some of the featured articles on today's news that's are at preferredcurrency.news. But before we go there, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program here. Now, guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by ex PayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the uses use um, the system rather uses its own currency called the Q, and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, we are they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so guys, it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up is completely free, which uh, they will only ask for your name and an email address. There's nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, below in the description, you will see my special limited invite link. Now guys, there are only 5 slots left. So guys, uh, don't get left behind on this one. Click it now and join us with this new Initiative Q program. Alright? Okay, so uh, moving forward, let's go to the articles for today on the newsletter um, entitled democratic for all new crypto exchange will be 100 percent owned by users now the second article is entitled report leading japanese shipping line to introduce its own digital currency and the third and last article for the day is saudi financial watchdog saudi uaa or UAE crypto project in design phase will be ready by mid 2019 right so now let's go to the first article on democratic for all new crypto exchange will be 100% owned by users here so a hybrid community owned digital asset exchange is hoping to simplify trades and investments while driving down the cost of transactions Direct's hybrid model enables users to trade utilities and securities, and the revenue generated from these transactions is subsequently shared with token holders. In the meantime, the exchange hopes to become a truly beneficial and democratic exchange platform for all. The startup is said to be the first exchange of its kind thanks to how it blends the benefits of centralized exchanges with a decentralized ownership structure. The platform is going to be 100% owned by the Darico community through the distribution of Darico Exchange Community Shares or known as DECX for short. As well as paving the way for profit distribution, these security tokens would enable holders to have voting rights or giving them a say on how the exchange develops in the future. Now, the startup hopes that individuals, institutions, professional traders, and investors will all stand to benefit from what the exchange has to offer, that is, enabling them to trade, um, deposit, and withdraw a variety of top-ranked cryptocurrencies. In 2019, the company plans to allow users to transfer fiat funds in and out of the exchange using cards and bank accounts, creating the ability to cross-trade between pounds, euros, dollars, and crypto. Darix is the third launch for the Darico ecosystem. The DECS is a collaboration between Darico and Polymath, a specialized tokenization service that helps companies launch securities tokens on blockchain. Tokens are going to be distributed to the community on January 10th, 2019. Secure, fast, reliable, transparent. 
The team behind Direx says the hybrid exchange is going to pride itself on a transparent business model where a prominent auditing firm produces quarterly reports which are compliant with international standards. It is um, a practice that's commonly followed by conventional financial companies. A better version of the platform is going to launch early next year. From a security perspective, Direct says fail-proof cold storage is going to be used which protects funds held on the exchange while ensuring they are accessible at all times. A monitoring system would also keep track of activity on the platform around the clock, helping to flag any suspicious or anomalous activity. It is hoped that these features won't be at the expense of transaction speeds with low latency mechanisms designed to make sure that trades are executed in a flash. Offering a vision of how its platform will look in the future, its white paper adds. Quoting, with liquidity in the cryptocurrency market, gradually increasing we believe that by 2020 it will be the time to implement a decentralized exchange structure and um, this will also complete freedom in trading and enable the community to freely trade any cryptocurrency that is deemed valuable and code Darix is the latest product of the Darico ecosystem which also includes GNIUS or Genius, Darico's wallet that supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, NEO, and more than 2,000 ERC20 and NEP-5 tokens. The ecosystem also contains NYUS, the terminal which enables customers to access the ecosystem's wallet and an index fund. Darico has been incorporated in Switzerland and has an office in Gibraltar and it also has team members based in Dubai, Poland, Zurich, and Ukraine. The concept for this ecosystem came into being towards the end of 2016 and was further finessed throughout 2017. Its pre-sale was held as 2017 drew to a close and this was followed by a token sale for December as 2018 began or for DEC as 2000 began. All right guys, so that was for the first article featured today. Now let's go to the second article here. Report leading Japanese shipping line to introduce its own digital currency. Japanese shipping company Nippon Yusen KK or NYK is reportedly launching its own digital currency for crew members, Bloomberg reported November 20. Here. Established in 1885, Nippon Yusen is Japan's or Japan's first or largest shipping line in terms of sales. From April 1 to September 30, 2018, NYK Group's consolidated revenue was 915.6 billion yen or $8.1 billion. People familiar with the matter reportedly told Bloomberg that NYK is introducing its own digital currency for crew members in order to simplify the process of managing, sending, and converting money into marine workers' local currencies. The currency will purportedly be tied to U.S. dollars, which would help avoid serious swings in value. According to Bloomberg, it is not clear whether NYK's digital currency will use blockchain technology or be a form of cryptocurrency. Per the anonymous sources, NYK is working with banks and software development companies to ensure the currency's ability to be converted into local currencies. The company has reportedly conducted successful tests using shipboard telecommunications and is now seeking a patent for the technology. NYK will supposedly introduce the digital currency in the first half of 2019 while the initiative pre presupposes the use of smartphones. 
Along with paying their own workers, the company is also looking to offer the currency to other shipping operators. Port and shipping authorities around the world have already embraced the potential of blockchain technology. Earlier this month, nine major terminal operators and shipping companies signed a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU to launch an open digital platform based on distributed ledger technology or DLT. The new platform will reportedly allow shippers to digitize and organize their dangerous goods, documents, and automatically connect with relevant parties to streamline the approval process. In October, Europe's largest port, the Port of Rotterdam, partnered with major Dutch bank ABN AMRO and the IT subsidiary of Samsung to test blockchain for shipping. The members of the blockchain trial expect the technology will help reduce or reduce shipping time and simplify financial transactions. All right, guys, so that was for the second article. Now let's go to the last article for today about Saudi financial watchdog. Saudi-UA crypto project in design phase will be ready by mid-2019. Here. A digital currency for the United Arab Emirates backed by the Saudi Arabia Central Bank has entered the design stage. The joint project is being pursued to facilitate easier cross-border payments with several banks. Middle East to go digital The Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority or SAMA, Head of Innovation Mohsen Al Zarani told the Saudi press agency on Tuesday, November 20, 2018, the project is nearing completion and could be ready in the middle of 2019. Al Zarani, who was speaking on the sidelines of the Blockchain Future Applications Conference on Tuesday, said SAMA was studying the feasibility of the cryptocurrency being rolled out among all banks. The announcement by Al Zarani corroborates a similar one by Mur Barak Al Mazuri, governor of UAE Central Bank, who confirmed to the local Agram news outlet on Monday, November 19, 2018, the joint digital currency project has entered design phase. The date of the launch, according to him, will be determined according to the Saudi part and the current study. He further said that digital currency would be used in all payments and added, quoting, the digital currency will not replace a certain bill, but it will be a new payment tool used by banks, not individuals, end quote. The UAE Central Bank undertook a joint project with Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority, or SAMA, in December 2018 to use the power of blockchain technology to create a digital currency that would help facilitate cross-border payments between both countries. Commenting about the project on December 13, 2017, during a high-level meeting for the Arab region on global banking standards and regulatory and supervisory priorities, UAE Central Bank Governor said, quoting, CBUAE and SAMA intend to execute a joint cryptocurrency and distributed ledger proof of concept or POC. The POC's design mainly focuses on the transfer of ownership of a central bank asset or cryptocurrency among participants, end quote. Before the announcement, the UAE central bank did not recognize digital currencies like Bitcoin because of their speculative nature and the risks associated with cryptocurrency investments, while Saudi Arabia Authority has warned citizens against trading in Bitcoin since it was not within the bank's regulatory reach. 
According to Al Mansouri, the motivation for the project was the recent developments in the fintech industry, which he said presented both challenges and opportunities for the industry and that it was the responsibility of participants and regulators to understand the attendant risks and look for ways to monitor and mitigate them. UAE at the forefront of crypto developments. UAE has made the news in the recent past by creating several crypto-related payment platforms besides creating a special legal framework for the blockchain technology. The country also announced earlier this month it was getting its first cryptocurrency exchange. All right, so that was for the third article featured for the day so guys what can you say about these articles share with us your opinions on our comment section there below and also guys of course you can also have your own copy of um, our newsletter directly sent to your email simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here now once you are in the website all you have to do is go down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you will start receiving our newsletter directly sent to your email 12 hours ahead of our broadcasts here on YouTube. Right. So now guys, here is the current issue of our newsletter, which our subscribers are receiving um, or received um, uh, 12 hours from today. All right. So here it is, the featured articles. And we have websites that you guys should look into. But before we go to the website, guys, for our subscribers there, you can also join our Telegram group simply by clicking the image here, this one, on your copy of the newsletter. All right. So now let's go to the first website, which is eosauthority.com slash alerts. All right. Now, guys, this is a great website where you can get alerts for transactions on your EOS account such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrops sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAF arbitration notices. Also, EOS Authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. Again, guys, if you want to get notified regarding transactions on your EOS account, you can go to the website eosauthority.com slash alerts here and simply type in your account name and email address on the spaces provided for you there. Now also here, to get the latest EOS marketplace news from the experts, you can simply subscribe by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here and then you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy at our websites as follows now in your Chrome browser you can go to EOS marketplace news and add your listings here so now guys this is what EOS marketplace news looks like it is just like your ordinary spreadsheet but here you can post any item that you want to sell in exchange for EOS. So guys, take for example, you have vacation rentals there, um, real estate, boats or services that you want to sell in exchange for EOS. You can post them here on this uh, on EOS marketplace.news. Now, don't you worry. This sheet is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. All you just need to provide is, of course, the name of the item you want to sell, which you'll be putting on the general category column, the description or definition of the item, any link to the website for the description, such as photos or images, and of course, your contact information, such as phone number, email address, 
Skype ID, Telegram, or WhatsApp so that our buyers will know how to reach you. Again, guys, if you have something there that you want to sell in exchange for EOS, you can add your listing simply by going to the website eosmarketplace.news. There. And then you can also go to pcn.today for the latest news on blockchain. And also go to marketplace.pcn.today to place your additional listings. You can also go to preferredcurrency.news if you wish to become a web subscriber. And our web subscribers can also go to twitter.com slash preferredcrypto. Now, to get started, you can sign up at pro.coinbase.com to change some US dollars into Bitcoin so that you can then transfer that Bitcoin to the Binance exchange or to the website binance.com where you can change your Bitcoin into EOS if you wish. And then you can download the free EOS Things wallet from Google Play Store or your favorite app store so that you can use EOS most easily. Also, guys, you can download the first EOS Links wallet on your Windows simply by going to the website eoslinks.com. There. Now, also here on the newsletter, we have some links that you guys should also take a look there. Now, here you can click on this link for you to see a good place where you can advertise whatever you have for sale or for rent in exchange for EOS tokens. Also guys, you can click here to see how to get free tokens for holders of EOS, but just be sure to click and explore all the links in each issue of this newsletter. Now here, we also have an important announcement to you all. To please contact the publisher Donald the Guru if you have um, or if you have not transferred all of your EOS off the exchanges yet. You need to have your EOS in an actual wallet where you control the private key in order to get the latest newest free airdrops coming soon. Now, the newer airdrops will not be based on the original Genesis snapshot and the easiest mobile wallet is currently EOS Links. Now guys, you can contact Donald by phone at 1-801-601-8105 or on WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939 if you need help with this. And now here, let's skip to the best part once you subscribe to our newsletter is that you guys get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today. Now, these are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and also invites you to do the same if you like to. So now here, let's go and take a look and click on this open spreadsheet tab here. So now guys, it's still loading. Now there you'll see this is Donald's research list or Donald's analysis for the day. Now here, as you can see, on column A are the names of the coins or tokens. Now take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. On column B is the US dollar recent price. On column C is the share of total market volume, that's, um, that's not capital. Column D is Google search as compared to past seven days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, seven days weekly volume versus price. On column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price. And here on column J is the percent issued. Now, take note, guys, this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto. But if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. And also, guys, you could also have your own copy of Donald's um, research list simply by clicking the word file here on the upper left corner. Click make a copy. Now you can rename the document if you want to. Then after that, click OK. 
so that you could have your own version which you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research. You can also add columns, personal notes, and information to your own file copy there. Now also here guys below in our newsletter, you will also see other lists of coins or tokens that has the most high volume change, interesting technical price action, high weekly trade volume, and high Google search activity. And now here, we also have one great program to you all crypto lovers out there where you can become an affiliate for preferredcurrency.news and earn your crypto each month. Now you can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. But here, um, you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. Now, enrolling as an affiliate is so easy. All you have to do is click on this image here on your copy of the newsletter for our subscribers or also for um, other people out there you can also go to the website preferredcurrency.news here and click on the affiliate tab here on the upper left upper right corner enroll do your first blog and there you can um, earn crypto it's so easy and uh, if, if you have other questions regarding this one you can always contact the publisher because he really wants to connect with you personally now you can contact donald the guru through the following phone number at one eight zero one six zero one eight one zero five whatsapp at one eight zero one four seven one six nine three nine telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto there also guys uh, for training on how to use your preferred currency spreadsheet you can here just give him just adjust this one you can click here for our youtube channel which is called preferred currency news and subscribers can follow us on our private subscribers twitter at preferred crypto for alerts and updates between issues you can also email us to let us know your twitter so we know how to approve you and we also invite other youtube channels out there to freely review and analyze our data we also hope that you embrace our affiliate program all right so guys that was it now all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and education only not to be considered advice you see here we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do or that you should do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself now this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online today. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Now if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily news broadcaster signing off and I'll see you on my next video guys. Until then, bye!